The Menendez brothers have now both spoken out about the new series on Netflix titled Monsters, the Lyle and Eric Menendez Story. Both men are still in prison and have been there for more than 30 years, but their family runs some social media accounts for them. Lyle's family, including his wife, run a Facebook page for Lyle, and they stated, just so everyone is clear, like the pinned post says, this is not Lyle posting. Thankfully, Lyle does not have Netflix in prison and cannot watch this abject trash. Now, while neither men have watched the series, they obviously know what is going on in the show and they have a lot to say about it. This is a statement that Eric posted. You can pause to read. Lyle's family has posted this. If you've not started watching, please do not. Don't let your view count towards their ratings. If you've started and you don't want to continue, don't. Let them see that the viewership dropped off. They also shared on October 9th, Netflix will release a documentary on the case. It will be like manna from heaven after the crap that just fell out of the sky. So don't cancel Netflix. Just don't watch the hit piece done on two survivors whose lives in prison were just made worse by Monster Murphy. They also recommended that everyone go watch Menendez Brothers Misjudged. They said it was one of the best documentaries made on the case. Lyle's family has been watching the series and they've been posting updates after watching every episode. This is what they posted after episode one. They said no resemblance to reality whatsoever. Episode two, other than the utter incompetence of the police, very little was accurate. Episode three, gratuitous nudity and sick, disgusting implications being made about an essay survivor, which have been denied that only play into the completely disproven theory of the state. Episode four, some emotionally moving parts, but the problem is that they have already established what they want you to think of these characters, and these are only fictional characters. The flashbacks that rewrite what we already saw and was presented as fact early on in the series only serve to imply that these are the characters' stories. Episode five, moving to a certain point, but the lies ruin it. Episode six, guess what? There is a huge difference between killing people in self-defense who force themselves on you and threaten to kill you and growing up and abusing and forcing yourself on your own children after having been abused as a child. This weird, gross, false equivalency that is trying to be drawn here in episode six is just so wrong. Episode seven, it's hard to make done, who is played by Nathan Lane in the series, more ignorant and hateful than he actually was in real life. But this show did it. Episode seven is vile beyond all words. Actually, I have the words, but I will wait a bit before saying them. Episode eight is the last in the series and they commented, the lies just never end. After completing the whole series, the family then posted this statement. So these writers, creators got up in the morning, ate their cornflakes and went to an office where they decided to lie about survivors who have suffered every single day of their life. The professionals did this for money. How ironic. Never forget, there was more evidence of abuse in the first trial than there is in most successful child abuse prosecutions. They had a plethora of material to draw from, and this is what they chose to do? It's laughable, it's pathetic, and it is re-victimizing. It is imaginary, it is fiction. And to put out into the world the absurd notion that the brothers were lovers is the height of pure evil. How convenient that the new evidence was never brought up. The truth is that I have no idea what I just watched because it bears no resemblance to reality or the human beings that I know. What projects does Monster Murphy have coming up that we need to boycott? Can we start something? Anyway, this was about nine hours of my life I will never get back after watching the most awful fictional miniseries I have ever seen. It was over the top awful. Even if it was billed as fiction, it was still awful. Eric and Lyle are serving two life sentences without parole, but there are an awful lot of people who believe they should be released.